Hi guys, bonjour, I'm Rebecca from Artist Rebecca LS. Today we're going to take a look very quickly at this new water brush I have ordered because at Christmas I got a replacement for this original Securicoi small water brush that I got in around 2006 and I've always promoted these as being the best kind of water brushes I've ever used and you can see I've worn the thin part down to almost nothing and my work was quite untidy because of it so then I got this large uh, one at Christmas I wanted to see if the because I'd already ordered one but it, and it had been a mistake it was a tall one that looked like um, Pentella Quash which I can't stand so then I did find the four mil and they do still make them and just please let's focus on the mess today of recording is january the 13th and it's terrible 2023 and this started spraying out and wearing the tip of it um pretty much to I'll be fair and say two weeks in. It just got really, really bad. Hairs are all sprayed out. And that's being careful with wetting the, the bristles and then putting the cap on slowly. And yet these bristles have all just come out and been caught in the cap and um, it's really really disappointing also when i am painting with it the water flow is really bad on the original one the water just kept coming and i guess a lot of people have complained that it was too much water and for me that was brilliant whereas this hardly any water comes out and you have to keep squeezing it constantly and then you get flooding because the water tends to come out of the black instead of down through the brush so it kind of drips onto the brush instead of flowing down through the whole brush so really really disappointed with that so i have now purchased from jackson art supplies because i've seen other artists use these and they are apparently japanese it should be good it's a zig brush h2o with a large tip so I'm really hoping that this is going to be good. It says, create like a modern day Monet with this portable water brush for those who wish to paint anywhere at any time. Its lightweight design permits portability and eliminates the need to carry water bottles. And it is by Kotaki which is Japanese and like I've said I chose the large br head the brush so it says here on the barrel Kotaki Limited and there's a button here or an area it's not really a button it's more like an area where you're supposed to push and squeeze for more water the cap comes off and the cap has a clip that you can you know attach to your pocket or your pencil case and then it's just a case of unscrewing and that's quite oh here we go stiff to start with right it's got as they all do the little black plunger in it. it just stops water leaking out or it could be that's supposed to that's supposed to stay in there that can't be possible is that the design that's going to be really awkward to fill up so basically the only way to fill this up is to squeeze it in a pot of water and I'm used to filling with a pipette 
so that's going to be annoying. Normally, the water brushes I've used, these, had a, a black thing that you took out and, and then you filled up the whole barrel. But this I can see, there's no way of getting that out. That's like part of the design. Okay, so, anyway, this was a quick look at the water brush and I'll let you know how I get on with it in later videos. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, leave me a comment and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye!